Okay, challenge time. Hands-on challenge for right soccer queries. Okay, let's go ahead and launch our playground. Resourceful raccoon. And I'm going to pop up my developer console here. Developer console. And I'm going to close the last ones we have and yeah just close that one too so let's see what we have here create an apex class that returns contacts based on incoming parameters okay pretty simple so the contact or not the apex class must be called contact search i'm going to copy the class name Go to developer console, file, new, apex class, contact search, duplicate value found. Hmm, let's see, did I open, um, open resource, classes, contact search there. Yeah, it was closing my window. So, this is the shell, public class contact search, which is pretty much doing nothing. Let's flip back to our playground, or oh, not playground, um, challenge. So, the Apex class must have a public static method called search for contacts, okay? So, public static method, it will return a list of contact the method should finally return a list of contact okay so public static method so i'm gonna flip back here so public static right and then it it's returning a what a list of contact and the name is that right search for contact and it's passing two parameters so let's do that first. What are the parameters? We have um, the method should then find any contact that has the last name and mailing postal code. So two incoming parameters, last name, all right, last name, first string, and then mailing postal code, okay? And then postal code, okay, let's pass it string the first parameter, let's name it last name. The second one is also string. Let's name it postal code. Okay. Let's see the problem from a no return statement because we are not done yet. Okay. So we are going to search for contacts. Okay. I'm going to flip back here. Um, all right. So let's start searching. So a list of contact, okay. Uh, let's name it, what, found contact or search contact? Um, let's now, contacts found, okay. A list of contact contacts found equals and then you do a circle here okay what do you need to get what do you need to get last name in mailing postal code right last name in mailing postal code so select last name comma mailing postal code from contact where What's the criteria again? Where that has a last name matching the first string matching. So it's gonna be equal probably, right? And mailing postal code matching the second string. So that's easy. Where last name equals, you remember variable with colon, okay? Colon this guy here. This is the variable, right? And 
main link postal code equals colon postal code there okay boom and you have the semicolon in the end okay you can even do um like this select last name mailing postal code from contact where last name equals last name and mailing postal code equals mailing postal code so you can do a return so you can read it easier all right so um we got that and then we basically say return contacts found wait i think we're missing something here let me see we are supposed to get here the method should finally return a list of contact records of type of list that includes id and name fields okay id and name fields okay so i would like to go first name actually select id last name first name that's the name fields right first name last name they don't even need mailing postal code like that so select id first name last name from contact where last name equals last name variable there and mailing postal code equals postal code which is passed from there and then return the contacts found which is this list and that's pretty much it and we are pretty much done right so return contacts found okay let's give it a try we want to test it so if i go to my contacts here and contacts on c contacts here okay let's see all of it all of it well we don't have postal code here right let's uh, change our filter here um or display column not filter i want postal code mailing postal code here okay bring it to the right over here and then we have the name there the account name well name is the actual name right if I go here, do we have a name? I forgot. I usually use first name and last name. I'm going to open the contact object. Do we have a name? I think we have first name and last name. We don't have name, right? M. Let's sort it by alphabetically. M N. Oh yeah, we do name. We have name. So let's let's actually change it because this might fail name okay select id and name from contact where last name equals that and then mailing postal code equals that okay let's resave it okay i think we're done let's double check with our challenge again back here scroll down so the Apex class must be called contact search. We did that and be in the public scope. We did that. The Apex class must have a public static method called search for contacts. The method must accept two incoming strings as parameters. We did that. The method should then find any contact that has a last name matching the first string and mailing postal code here matching the second string. The method should finally return a list of contact records of type list that includes the ID and name fields. Pretty much we did everything. Okay, class contact search. The method name is search for contacts. First string, last name. Second string, postal code, which we then use to find from our circle over here, right? So we select the ID and the name from contact where the last name equals colon last name, which is this guy and mailing postal code equals postal code with a colon postal code, which is this guy. And we return the list of contact fun 
because this is a list and this is a list and this is a list so we are good to go and go check the challenge and get our 500 points i'll see you on the next section which is write social queries salesforce search language okay pada bing pada boom i'll see you on the next video hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the salesforce app exchange and do yourself a favor like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom <laughs>